Hey there, yogi friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today's class is about the spaces in between our poses. So we often in our practice, or it's very easy in our practice for us to focus on where we're going, the next pose, the warrior one, a crescent lunge, um, an arm balance, um, a balancing posture. It's, it's easy to focus on the postures, right? Um, but there's a lot of opportunity in between these shapes um, <laughs> to create uh, postures as it was. Uh, th these aren't negative spaces in our practice. Uh, it's very important for us to find intention in the movement in between poses. Um, so I guess my point here is um, these transitions from one space to another are new places for us to find an intention, to move intentionally. So throughout this practice, um, <laughs> I want this practice to feel good, right? I want it to feel like a dance, to feel fluid. I don't want, um, I, I guess I don't want you to get too caught up in this idea of transitions. Um, I want you to be intentional about it, but also really organic in how you move from one posture to another, um, almost as if you had bands on your limbs, if this makes sense, resistance bands. So instead of just flinging your arm to the side, right, you sort of use those muscles to open up, right, almost like you were moving through something really resistant, like molasses, or you had rubber bands around every part of your body, correct? Um, but while moving um, in this way of like opposing the uh, sort of air around you as if it was thicker and you know you had to actually push against it to move while doing that i want you to find ease so moving <laughs> with resistance without resistance if that makes sense um okay i'll quit talking and we will get started today in a child's pose so Knees together or knees wide apart, whatever is organic for you today. And uh, we'll all meet there. If there are any props that make your practice uh, more accessible, uh, please feel free to grab those. I'm not using any today, but I'm a big fan of them, so grab whatever you need. And settle down into your child's pose. Before we get started today, I just want to take a moment to release and relax. So almost take this time to forget everything I just said and arrive into the space on your mat. And deepen your breath. And check in to how your body wants to move today. Don't think of shapes that it wants to make. How does it want to move? Maybe today you need more succinct, rigid movement, and that is beautiful and fine. Maybe today you need to move more like a leaf blowing in the wind, a lot of fluidity, and that is beautiful and fine. Take another deep breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, come forward onto hands and knees. And here we'll just start to connect to how our body wants to move today. So we're coming through cat and cow, and I want you to close your eyes and explore what feels for you today, right? What you feel, how you feel, where you feel, where you need to feel. Explore what feels today. So hands underneath your shoulders or slightly in front. Make a wider stance if that feels for you today. And we'll start by exhaling. Bend the elbows a little bit. Chest comes further down to the mat. And then from there, you start to press the hips back as you round up towards the ceiling. 
pull the hips forward, keeping that round in the spine, and then drop your belly down. You can even drop the hips down, pull the chest forward. Now I'm just offering this. If there's something else you want, bend the elbows, press the floor away, round through the back. If this is not how your body wants to feel today, don't beat there. And round forward, maybe the hips drop as you pull the chest forward. Bending the elbows, rounding through the shoulders, then through the mid back, then through the lower back as you press the hips back. And coming forward, rounding more through the shoulders as you do, and then drop the hips, pull the chest forward. Keep the eyes closed and just find your own space, your own rhythm here. And again, if this isn't organic, if this isn't natural, if this doesn't feel good in your body, find something else. And when you're done with your final round, we're going to all meet in a tabletop position. Tuck the toes here. Bring the hands slightly forward if they're not already there. Lift the knees to a hover. Press the hips back towards the heels. And then straighten your legs into your downward facing dog. Inhale slowly. Like you're moving against that resistance, come forward to your plank. Hmm. And then bend the knees as you shift back into your downward dog. Bring about five more of these rippling forward. Hmm. Bending the knees, rippling up and back. About two more rounds wherever you are. And then we'll all meet in a downward facing dog. Feet come into some stillness. Maybe you adjust the width or the length along the mat. Rotate the arms and press the chest, chest back. Inhale, reach that right leg up. Bend the knee, pull the right heel towards the hip. Straighten the leg immediately, square the hip. And bend. And straighten and square. Bend and open. This time, the knee comes straight around. Make a wide circle over to the right. Bring that knee towards the nose and then step the foot down. The left knee comes down and immediately reach the arms up. And then exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale up, rotating through the shoulders. Exhale, wide circle with the arms as you bring the arms back down. One more time. Inhale up, wide circle with the arms. Hands come back down. Tuck the toes of the left foot, lift the left knee, shift forward. Mm. Open up that hip, bend the left knee, pull the heel towards the right hip. And then left foot comes down to meet the right. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, reach the arms up to the ceiling. And exhale, bend the knees, fold back over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees a lot, lower the hips all the way to the mat as you grab the shins. Rock and roll back. And roll up. And roll back. And roll up. 
One more time, roll back. Roll up, bring the feet wide, Malasana. Low squat, beautiful. Shift the hips from side to side. And then release the hands down to the mat, lift the hips, fold forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, step the right foot to the back of the mat, slowly and carefully, gently landing those toes down. Right knee comes down. Right hand under the shoulder. Left arm reaches up. Maybe the hip opens as the arm reaches. And then exhale, bring that left hand down, close the hip. Open the arm, open the knee to the left. And back to center. One more time, open. And center. Tuck the toes of the right foot, lift the right knee. Send your left leg high. Bend the knee, bring the left heel towards the right hip, and then straighten the leg, square the hip. Bend the knee, open the hip. Straighten the leg, square the hip. One more time, bend and open. And this time, wide circle with that left knee over to the left, out wide, circle, semicircle around towards your nose, and then foot between the hands. Right knee lowers, arms lift up. Mm. Wide circle with the arms as you bring them back around and down. Beautiful. Inhale, reach up. Wide circle and down. Inhale up. Wide circle, bring them back down. Tuck the toes of the right foot, lift the right knee. Shift the weight into the left foot. Right leg goes high. Bend the right knee, right heel towards the left hip. And breathe. Both feet to the mat and fold. Inhale, flat back with calf way. And exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back with calf way. And exhale, fold. Inhale, press into the feet. Come all the way up to stand, reach high. And then exhale, back down, fold. Inhale, flat back, lift halfway. Bend the knees, start to hit, sit the hips down as you grab the shins. We're going to rock and roll back. One, and forward. Rock back, two. And forward, try to stay off the neck. Rock back, three. Forward, plant the feet, malasana, low squat, shift the hips. Low squat, shift the hips side to side. And then hands down, lift the hips and fold. Inhale, flat back, lift halfway. Exhale, step that left foot back, intentionally hit the back of the mat. Left knee lowers as the right arm lifts and the right knee opens up to the right. And then exhale back to center. Inhale, open up. And exhale, center. One more time. Inhale, open up. And exhale, center. Both hands on the mat. Tuck the toes of the left foot. Lift the left knee. Right foot back to meet the left. Downward facing dog. Inhale, forward. Rippling to your plank. And then bend the knees. Shift back, downward dog. Inhale, forward and ripple. Bend the knees, shift back. Straighten the legs, down dog. One more time. Forward. And then bend the knees and ripple back. Beautiful work. Inhale, reach that right leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip. Inhale, straighten that right leg. Square the hip. Exhale, bend. Stack and open. Wide circle around with that right knee as you bring the knee towards the middle of the mat. Okay? So right knee comes right down to the middle of the mat. Really beautiful. Keep the right hand on the mat. Spin the left heel down as you open the left arm up. And then sit the hips all the way back. Right? So you have um, your left leg. You're probably kind of 
cattywampus on your mat at this moment. So your left leg is straight, your right leg sort of um, at a figure four shape with that left leg. The right hand is down on the mat behind you. Inhale, press into the right hand, sweep around and lift those hips. Exhale, bring it down. And as you do, you'll reach that right hand towards the outside edge of the left foot. Beautiful. Inhale up, right hand behind you, lift the hips. Hips come down. Circle the right hand around to the outside of that left foot and fold. One more time. Come up, bring the right hand behind you, lift the hips. And then bring the left hand down. Come onto the toes of the left foot. Right knee comes back to center, both hands underneath the shoulders. Step the right foot back to meet the left. You're in your plank. Bend the knees, hips back towards the heels, straighten the legs, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach that right leg up. Bend the knee, pull the right heel towards the hip. Straighten the leg, square the hip. Bend the knee, heel towards the hip. Wide circle, bring that right foot forward between the hands. Spin the left heel down, come up into your warrior two. And here, settle down into the hips. And then as you inhale, like you're pushing something up towards the sky, straighten that right leg, press the arms up. And then press down, bend that right knee. Reaching forward. And then reaching back, reverse your warrior. Inhale, come forward. Right forearm to the right knee. Reach that left arm up and then press, press it forward. Bend the elbow back behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades and then press the left arm forward. Beautiful. Bend and squeeze that elbow back as you open the chest up towards the sky and then straighten that arm. Very nice. Inhale brings you all the way back to your warrior two. Look forward, get really strong in that right foot. You're gonna bring both hands down to the mat to frame the foot. Keep that left hip open, shift the weight into the right foot. Left leg lifts, bend the knee, open up the hip. Both feet to the mat, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, flat back, lift halfway. Exhale, bend the knees. Start to come down into that little squat. This time you have the option to tap the toes all the way behind you in a halasana, or you can rock and roll three times. So for halasana, you'll hold on to the shins, bring the feet up overhead behind you. And then we'll all rock back up slowly and intentionally into our halasana. Hands down to the mat, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot back. Right knee down as you open the left knee to the left, left arm up to the sky. You can stay here this time with the, the left hand reaching back behind you. Or if you'd like, you can start to bend the right knee, hold on to the right foot, and breathe. And release both hands, come down to the mat. Lift the right knee. Start to spin to the outside edge of that right foot. Option here to either keep that right knee lifted or you can come back to where we were before. You're going to take that left foot and step it back behind you. So you're here where we started. Or if you have the flexibility, or you want to today, you may have the flexibility and not want to today, you'll lift the right knee, spin to the outside edge of that right foot, and you'll step the left foot up and back behind you, coming in to your wild thing. And then wherever you are, you'll start to make your way 
back to center, left hand down, left leg stays lifted, three-legged dog. Left leg straight and square. Bend the left knee, pull the left hip towards the, the left foot towards the right hip, sorry. Straighten and square the leg. One more time, bend the knee, heel towards hip. Wide circle with that left knee as you bring it around towards the middle of the mat. Beautiful. You'll spin towards the outside edge of that right foot. Lift the right hand as you lower the hips down. Right, so we have this straight right leg and a figure four shape with this left leg. Your left hand is behind you, about in line with your hip. And as you inhale, you'll press into the left hand, roll the hips forward and lift. And as you exhale, you'll lower down and circle that left hand around to the outside of the right foot and fold. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold. Beautiful. Inhale, you'll lift, you'll come back to center. Tuck the toes of the right foot. Send the left foot back to meet the right in your plank. Bend the knees, hips back towards the heels. Downward facing dog. Inhale, immediately lift that left leg. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Circle the knee wide. Left foot comes forward between the hands. Right foot spins down, warrior two. Beautiful, as if you were pushing something up towards the ceiling. Straighten the left leg, engage. Exhale, push it down. And as you do, start to reach forward with that left hand. And then reverse your warrior. Come back to center. Left forearm on the left knee. Right arm reaches up and overhead. And then bend that right elbow. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you rotate the chest towards the ceiling. Straighten the arm and extend. Bend. Pull the shoulder blades together. Pull the elbow towards the mid-back. And extend. One more time. Bend, squeeze. And extend. Bring yourself all the way up to your warrior two. Both hands come to the mat. Get strong in that left foot. Right leg stays open. Lift the right leg up. Bend the knee, open up the hip. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back and lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees. Come into a little squat. Either roll back three times or roll once into your halasana with control. So ideally, you want to stop about here where your legs are parallel to the floor and then slowly tap those toes down before you lift the legs up. Bend the knees, grab the shins, and we all rock forward into malasana. Hands to the mat, lift the hips and fold. Inhale, flat back, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step the left foot back. Your left knee lowers to the mat. As your right arm lifts up and your right knee opens up to the right. And then exhale, both hands come down. So from here, your options are to keep that left knee down and send that right leg up, back, and behind you opening up into the shape where we already were, your stargazer. Or, if your body wants it today, you'll tuck the toes of the left foot, spin to the outside edge of the foot, strong in the left side of the body, and with control, you'll step back into your wild thing. And bring the right hand down, both feet to the mat, downward facing dog. Okay, beautiful yogis. So <laughs> that's the sequence. We're going to run through it again so that you can become a little bit more familiar with what we're doing. Take a, a water break if you need to right now. 
Um, so we're going to run through it a few more times, um, or at least one more time. I'm not sure. I don't plan these. <laughs> um, just to see um, if you can find those spaces and the transitions where you can where you can put some intention, you can find something new, you can learn something, uh, you can explore a different part of your body. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll go a little bit faster. Um, maybe not faster, but one breath per movement, but with intention, right? So the movements aren't faster, we're just not gonna hold anything very long at all this time. Um, so take a breath, take a water, take a towel off, whatever you need today. And then we're going to meet in our downward facing dog. Beautiful. Start by taking that right leg, extend it up. Bend the knee, right heel towards left hip. Straighten and square the leg. Bend the knee, heel towards hip. Big circle. Right shin comes down to the middle of the mat. And you're going to roll all the way down onto your sits bones. Left arm lifts. Right arm circles around to the outside of that left foot. Inhale, up and back. Right hand under shoulder, lift. Left hand comes down, come onto the toes of the left foot. Right leg lifts immediately, three-legged dog. Bend the right knee, right heel towards left hip. Circle the right knee out wide. Bring it forward, warrior two. Rise up. Inhale, press up, straighten that right leg. Exhale, press down, reach forward, bend the right knee. Reverse your warrior. Right arm reaches back behind you. Come forward into your side angle. Left arm reaches overhead, and then immediately bend the elbow, roll the heart open. Use that to bring you back to your warrior two. Option to bring both hands down to the mat this time, or just the right hand as you slowly tip yourself forward into your half moon. Both hands to the mat, left foot meets the right, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low squat, either rock back or find your halasana, your flower pose. Pausing when the shins are parallel, tap the floor, and then right back up, we roll straight into our Malasana. Hands to the mat, lift the hips and fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Right foot steps back. You can keep the right knee lifted or lower it down this time. Right hand under the shoulder. Left hand reaches up, left knee opens up. Mm, beautiful. If your knee is lifted and you wanna just keep this movement going, from here, you don't have to come back to center, right? Roll to the outside edge of that right foot and immediately, with control, back into your wild thing. And again, the option with the knee down, it's the same thing. Arm lifted, leg up and back. And then from here, we'll all meet in our three-legged dog with the left leg lifted. Bend the left knee, left heel towards right hip. Straighten and square the leg. Bend the knee, heel to hip. Circle the leg wide. The left shin comes down. Right arm lifts immediately and we roll over onto our sits bones. Left hand circles around to the outside of that right foot. Inhale up. Left hand under the shoulder, right arm circles, hips lift forward. Both hands down. Lift the left leg, bend the knee, open up the hip. And then circle the leg around, left foot between the hands. Come to the outside edge of that right foot, warrior two. Press into the feet, press against the air as you lift. Lower back, bend the left knee, reach the left arm forward, and then reverse your warrior. Come back, side angle. Right arm lifts towards the front of your mat. Bend the elbow, spiral the heart towards the ceiling, squeeze the shoulder blades, and then use that to pull you up, warrior two. Both hands can come down, or you're shifting slowly, tipping into your half moon. 
both hands down, both feet down, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bend the knees. Rock back once or rock into your halasana. Toes tap up into your malasana, low squat. Whoop, missed it this time. <laughs> hands down, lift the hips and fold. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, step that left foot back. Left knee can be lifted or lowered this time. You'll reach the right arm up. Right knee opens out to the right. You can keep this motion opening, coming to the outside of that left hip, all the way around to your wild thing. And we all meet back in our downward facing dog. Beautiful. We'll do that one more time. Find some fluidity. Inhale, right leg lifts. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Circle around, right shin to the ground. Roll over onto the right hip. Circle around, right hand to the outside of the left foot as you fold. Back up, right hand down. Lift the hips and reach. Left hand down, right leg high. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Right foot forward, warrior two. Inhale, straighten and lengthen. Exhale, reach forward, bend the right knee, reverse. Side angle, reach. Bend the elbow, squeeze, brings you up to warrior two. Reach forward, half moon. Both hands down, both feet down and fold. Flat back, lift halfway. Exhale, bend, roll back. Halasana, toes tap. Back up, Malasana. Hands down, lift the hips and fold. Lift halfway. Right foot back. Right hand under the right shoulder. Left arm lifts, keeps spiraling open and then your left leg drops behind you. Left hand down, come onto the toes of the right foot. Your left leg lifts. Bend the left knee, left heel towards right hip. Circle the left leg around. Bring the shin to the mat. Roll all the way over onto your sits bones and then reach that left hand to the outside of the right foot and fold. Inhale, back up. Left hand under the shoulder. Right arm lifts your hips. Right hand down. Three-legged dog, left leg lifts. Bend the left knee, pull it towards the hip, the foot towards the hip. Circle the leg around wide, left foot between the hands. Inhale up, warrior two. Reach the hands, grow long through the body. Exhale, start to reach the left hand forward as you bend the left knee and then reverse. Come back through, side angle, right arm reaches forward. Right elbow bends as you spiral the heart open, warrior two. Half moon as you shift forward. Both hands down to the mat as you fold. Flat back, lengthen. Exhale, sit low, roll back. Toes tap, roll up. Malasana, hands down, hips lift and fold. Inhale, flat back. Step the left foot back, left hand under the shoulder, right arm reaches up as you open the right hip up, keep spiraling the body open as you step back, wild thing. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, drop the knees to the mat. Exhale, child's pose. Notice what you can find here. Notice what you found in the transitions. Were you able to connect 
with how your body wanted to move. Were you able to connect with how your body moves between postures? Inhale, slowly come back up to seated. And you'll make your way around to, to with your legs in front. <laughs> All right, and we'll slowly lower down onto our backs. And you'll start by taking that right foot and crossing it over the left knee. Your arms come out wide in line with the shoulders. Keep that right foot active. Drop the legs over to the left. Right foot comes straight down to the floor. Right knee up towards the ceiling. And so you want to feel this in the outside of that right hip. You might even feel it in the, the front of the hip and the hip flexor. If, like me, you're kind of tight for your hip flexors. And if you didn't have a big aha light bulb moment or some new intuition, if you just moved through this practice and it felt good, that's great. If you were able to find something new in abnormal transitions or repeated transitions or the pattern of the movement created today, that's good and beautiful. Inhale, come back to center. Keep the right ankle crossed over the left knee. Just bring the left foot out wide. Let the knees fall over to the right. So my point today was to shake up the way you're used to moving. We didn't spend a lot of time holding a pose, right? We spent more time moving in and out between the poses. And my intention with this was not to <laughs> speed up your heart rate or give you a super sweaty workout. It was to show you that this way of moving on our mat is fluid. It's like a dance that we undertake to get to know ourselves every time we step on this little rectangle. And there are a million ways of getting from one pose to another pose. And every teacher will show you something different when it comes to transitioning through your practice. Inhale, come back to center. Right foot to the mat. Take that left ankle, cross it over the right knee. Flex through the left foot and bring both legs over to the right, left foot straight to the floor, left knee to the sky. But ultimately, in your practice, you are your teacher. And how you move on your mat should be indicative of your special, unique, beautiful body. But this is a movement practice. We are moving on our mats. It is not... A practice of destination. It's a practice full of journeys. The journey from downward dog to crescent lunge. The journey from downward dog to handstand. The progression of your postures both in intensity and in sequence. Inhale, bring the legs back to center. Left leg stays crossed. Right leg comes out wide. Drop the legs over to the left.
Inhale, come back to center. From here, I invite you to lay down in Shavasana to find a big, comfortable space, but find intention in getting there. And I'll lead you through just a quick few rounds of equal part breath to help you settle back down into your Shavasana. And then I will leave you to take your Shavasana. Please take as long as is necessary for your body and your nervous system to come back to a relatively normal state after this practice. So once you find a comfortable seat, I want you to take a really deep breath in. Exhale loud. <sighs> Do that a couple more times on your own. So together we will be inhaling for a count of four and exhaling for a count of four. I will do the counting and you will do the breathing. Take your last really deep inhale. And your last really loud expressive exhale. <sighs> inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, Two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, Three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one. Feel free to continue counting on your own. Or if you feel ready, take a really deep breath in. And exhale, release. Come back to your natural breathing rhythm. I hope today you found some inspiration for moving on your mat or sequencing your practice, or acknowledging these small transitions in between our postures that are opportunities for fun, for exploration. And I hope in all things you do, you are loud, expressive, and yourself. I'll see you next time. Namaste.